train departing from the region of Tyre and Sidon, it came through the midst of the region of Decapolis to the Sea of Galilee. Then they brought to him one who was deaf and had an impediment in his speech, and he begged him to put his hand on him. And he took him aside from the multitude and put his fingers in his ears and spat and touched his tongue. Then, looking up to heaven, he sighed and said to him, A father, that is, be opened. Immediately, his ears were opened, and the pediment of his tongue was loosed, and he spoke plainly. Then he commanded them that they should tell no one. But the more the, he commanded them, the more widely they proclaimed it. And they were astonished. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And they were astonished. And they were astonished. And they were astonished. And they were Saying, He has done all things well. He makes both the deaf to hear and the dumb, the mute to speak. So, to the glory of God the Father, Amen. the Son, Amen. and the Holy Spirit, Amen. and for the blessings of the participants of the participants of this convention, Amen. I hereby declare this 49th annual convention open. Jesus. 
general overseer's welcome and keynote address to the participants of the 58th anniversary and 49th International Annual Convention of the Gospel Faith Mutual International held from 4th to 10th August 2014. The year of fulfillment at the International Conference Center, Gospel Town, Alaka Ibadan. I give all glory, honor, and praises to the Almighty God who has shared government into era, new era since August 7, 2011, with proven proofs to back it up, the declaration. I want to thank you all for your unflinching support for government, our church, in the past and especially within the last one year after our 2013 convention, which has made possible the recorded progress the church has made spiritually, financially, and physically. Though our growth is not as rapid as government is definitely marching on, marching forward. I want to appreciate all the regular attendees of our annual convention and those who have been giving financial support regularly to ensure we have successful convention. This year, two persons voluntarily sent one million naira each to support this convention. Thank you very much. That's very good. We believe that as from next year, more donors and supporters of our convention at, at this level will ma imagine Jesus' name. It is a prayer that God will surprise and lift up people with blessings and also supply them with what they did not even ask for in the name of Jesus Christ to be so. I said, what God will supply their needs, what they ask for, and what they do not even ask for. God will do it because they voluntarily did it. If you are among those who support this, this year's convention with your money, please stand up. If you are among those people who supported our convention this year with your money, I'm not talking, I'm not talking about um, when, when we gave offering during the, uh, during the mobilization period. No, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about those who pledged and the promise to pay even from uh, 5,000 up to 500,000 and 220,000 and so on and so forth. Mi o so nipa ti ore apapo ti akojo po fun o sugba won ti won jeje bere lati egberun marun soke ti won si se be dide duro can you wave your, your can you wave your hand be owo re soke by the grace of god your hand will not dry amen the source of your income will not dry amen you will have be blessed with miraculous income amen. from time to time amen thank you very much be seated e se pupo e joku by the grace of God and with your financial support, our church has just completed the construction of 200,000 liters capacity water reservoir in this camp. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. To boost adequate su supply of portable water to our convention participants and other users of this international conference center, about 11 million naira has been expended on the project, it may still go up about another one million naira to give it some final uh, finishing touches. Between last year convention and now, the church also constructed another extension we can see over there of the, audito of the auditorium so that um, the people will be able to sit comfortably. To the, uh, this year, by the grace of God, Nobody will, sit, will, be, will be under the under the sun because we have enough place for you. Now, now 
the delegates, uh, the delegates, the delegates um, extension which we did cost about 20 million naira. Aluminium doors and windows of the delegates' houses were also fixed to avoid exposure to harsh or cold weather. 1,000 benches were also made to avoid the extensive re rental of plastic chairs. All these have been done for your comfort, and we would have done more if more funds were available. Definitely, government is, is moving forward. Thank you. By the grace of God, we have more countries where annual convention of government is held regularly. This includes the Republic of Benin, Ghana, USA, Belgium, Philippines, and United Kingdom. This year, Australia too will join them in November 28 to 30, 2014. So you can see that the, the church is marching on. Yes. When we started holding our international annual convention inside this auditorium in 1990, our number was so small inside a massive auditorium. However, today, even after we have done the extension of the auditorium twice, it has become too small to accommodate our convention attendance. It is now too it is choking for our convention population. This was why we have started preparing a new convention ground known as uh, Government International Camp Ground at Ogumakin. <laughs> By the special grace of God, please. By the special grace of God, the church has acquired and paid for 260 acres of land in the new camp, including the individual plots of land, while the church has also secured another 120 acres yet to be paid for and uh, hope to acquire more as soon as fund is available to, av to avoid the experience being sh uh, shocked suddenly as it happened in this gospel town here. The foundation of the first building in the camp was laid on Thursday, 12th June, 2014. You can see it there. That's it. You can see it. Yes. Are you seeing it? Are you getting it? Yes. The foundation was laid that day, June 12, <clears throat> year 2014. Yes. We even, we even already we have a building behind there now. That building was, was built for only, I mean, it took them only eight days to build that building. You will see it. Yes, more. Aha. That's the ballet of Oguma King was there with the chiefs. Because that was the day of groundbreaking, groundbreaking. I will also um, unveil the plaque there. Yes, okay, that's it. Can you take us to the, uh, to the uh, building? I mean, the can you quickly take us to the uh, name, uh, foundation lane ceremony because of our time? You will be seeing more of it. You can also get it in the DVD. Okay, thank you. God bless you. So, already 
we had laid foundation of the first building there. And that first building, the first building, we are believing God to dedicate it on December 26th this year. It's a, story building, it's a story building of four flats. Amen. Amen. I want to appreciate uh, 2014 GDF donors in the, in the months of January, February, and uh, March this year. This year income was greater than the previous years. Though the breakdown often connected for the international camp at Ogumakin was slower than expected, we still appreciate those who responded positively to the offering, and especially those who gave as much as they gave last year, and most especially those who actually gave double of what they gave last year as I requested. May God Almighty bless you all. Amen. Amen. Now, let me just, I want to know, how many of you gave during the uh, offering we had on May 4? How many of you gave twice as much as you gave last year? How many? How many? How many? How many? How many? Raise your hand. Because you know, you know, I promise you by the grace of God that I gave what I gave, I will give the double. I gave 25,000 last year, and this year, like I said, I gave 50 by the grace of God. Thank you very much. Uh, because whatever you sow, you will reap. We shall give you more information about this later. Though we have a few days to spend in this convention, uh, our programs have been pack, uh, packaged to take care of all segments or groups of people in the church. Namely, men, women, youths, female singles, male singles, workers, widows and widowers, as well as the students, ministers' children and ministers. This, this year, we shall witness more of answered prayers and miraculous occurrences in the lives of those trusting God for one miracle or the other. At this, at this juncture, I want to... Uh, See those who are first comers, first comers this year. Nibiti a day ye mo fe ma a wanti o wa fun igba koko si a jodo ye lodo ye. You have never attended a convention before, but oh. this is your first year, your first time. Igba koko re re la ti wa si irufi a jodo ba ye. Can you signify? Eh no, wo yin soke. Can you signify? You are very welcome. Tomorrow, maybe tomorrow by the of God, uh, during the course of the service, we'll call you out and pray for you. Amen. You will not regret you came. Because my God, the astonishing Christ will astonish you. Visited. Thank you. Our opening service this year shall witness a powerful message to be followed by ministrations, unlike the previous ones, for miracles and healings as a curtain racer for the expected move of God in this year's convention. Our convention theme, The Astonishing Christ, has been designed to make uh, us know more about Christ and uh, <clears throat> hold him more in esteem than before. It is, a, it is an extended expository lecture on the personality of Christ. This includes Christ's existence and incarnation, his service and ministry, his parables and wisdom, as well as his miracles and wonders. 
He will do astonishing things in your life in Jesus' name. Amen. He is the astonishing Christ who does astonishing things. He is astonishing in existence. He is astonishing in incarnation. He is also astonishing in his birth. He is astonishing in service. He is astonishing in wisdom. He is astonishing in knowledge. He is astonishing in power. He is astonishing, astonishing in miracles and wonders. He is astonishing in authority. Christ was also astonishing in his death. He was astonishing in his resurrection. He was also astonishing in, in ascension. And uh, by the grace of God, he will be astonished. He will be also astonished when he comes back again when we shall meet him in the air. Quiet night will come up on Thursday and it's going to be great, inspirational and colorful. While on Saturday, we shall be having a special fellowship called the New Era Family Meeting. I want, to, I want to enjoy you all that no one should miss that meeting. We should all attend and come on time because it's going to be brief but powerful and revealing. In this year of fulfillment, we are expecting the mighty move of God that will lead to fulfillment of your destiny. Dreams, ambitions, expectations, and hopes in all aspects of your life. Pay attention to the word of God. Avoid roaming about during uh, messages and teachings. Therefore, pay attention to the word of God. Avoid roaming about during messages and teachings, as well as distractions by side talks. Come early to every meeting, especially in the mornings and evenings. May the astonishing Christ visit you with positive astonishments. Amen. You are welcome. Amen. Remain blessed in the name of the astonishing Christ. Amen. And when we have praise, please shout a big hallelujah. Just turn to the person beside you and say, Ha, Obusha. And so be it in Jesus' name. I want to thank our Father in the Lord this year for the grace given to us again to present our little in this open program. God bless you, Dad. Thank you, sir. Something we are about to watch now. The power of Almighty God will come upon you. Wherever you are, something is about to happen. Flow with all this spirit of the Almighty God.
eyes are still on the cross. And he has risen again. There is a hope in the world. Thank you. 